Welcome to every cloud has a platinum lining number six. Um, an experiment. You know, I'm all about doing new things. And this one is called uh, Plat Pinions. I'm going to give 20 opinions about the whole Tessa Blanchard thing. Um, here's what I'm going to encourage you to do. 20 things, right? Do the math, right? It's 5%. For each point I'm going to make, you're going to assign me a grade. You're going to determine how many of the 20 things you think I'm pretty much right about. If I'm right, awesome. If I'm wrong, keep track of how many I'm wrong about. Give me a score on the bottom. If I'm wrong zero times, it's 100%. If I'm wrong once, it's 95%. If I'm wrong twice, that's 90%. So I can be wrong up to two times and still get an A. Ooh, exciting. Um, grading, judging. And um, if you don't mind, whichever ones you disagree about, put those in the comments below as well. If I get a C or above, I would appreciate you hitting like. And if I get a C minus, meaning a, uh, let's call that a 70 or a 65 or below, feel free to fucking give me a thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. These are my plat pinions. Um, we're going to do an unboxing because i got a bunch to do. We'll see what this is. I'll throw the shirt on and then we'll talk about the whole Tessa Blanchard thing. And for those that don't know, Tessa Blanchard won the Impact, TNA, whatever, World Championship from Sammy Callahan. So there's been a lot of brouhaha about that. And it's come out and revealed, uh, many people have said that she said a racist term of uh, the one, the number one you thing you don't say. Um, that she apparently called somebody that, spit in her face. Um, and Tessa Blanchard put out a tweet before her title win. Um, women should support women, that would be a cool thing, which prompted a number of women to say things about Tessa Blanchard and sort of bad behavior that she's engaged in over uh, the last few months or years. Hmm, a lot of controversy swelling around, a lot of really strong opinions coming here, there, and everywhere from wrestling fans, and I, I finally couldn't fucking take it. I hated uh, oh, just about everybody's take on the thing, so I'm going to have 20 opinions of my own. Let's look at what this shirt is. Weird. <laughs> ah, one of the, the big critiques of me that I actually secretly or not so secretly adored was that I used to hold the microphone like a mimosa. So somebody, I should have looked to see if there was a note there was not sent me this, knowing my love of Emma Watson. It's Mimosa, not Mimosa. Of course, Hermione Granger always sort of correcting and holding that motherfucking Mimosa. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so inside fucking baseball for this channel and everything else. I see you, person who sent this. I see you. Ah, I feel good in this thing. Let's get to it. Plot opinion number one. And these are in no particular order. I just fucking came up with 20. Um, some of them hit hard. Some of them not as much. Let's start. Oh, a lot of the people defending Tessa Blanchard. In particular to her that it's a good thing that she won this world title. And defeated a man to do it. Um, I don't think they're genuine. I think a lot of the people defending her are white knighting it. And they're defending her because they have some kind of affection for her. And this is a common thing amongst male wrestling fans in particular with how they deal with uh, female celebrities in general, but particularly women in wrestling. That often, it's not that they're open-minded, it's that they want to appear open-minded because they have some kind of like pseudo-sexual attraction to the women that they're talking about. That's not in every case, but I think it's in most cases. And I think if straight white men, or straight men in general, 
who follow wrestling are honest with themselves, they themselves have felt this way or engaged in this kind of behavior. Ah, uh, is it making you think? Is it making you mad? That was one of 20 opinions. Buckle up, fuckers. Buckle the fuck up. It's Mimosa, not Mimosa. Plot opinion number two. Um, Tessa Blanchard winning the Impact World title is the most interesting thing they could have done. And the only thing that they could have done outside of a fire happening that could have garnered them real attention from the wrestling world at large. Mm -hmm. Plot opinion number three. The Impact World title is not a fucking world title. It's not. They're not a big enough promotion to warrant calling it a world title. Nope. We can get into debate but about who's got a world title. WWE, sure, one or two of them. AEW, yeah. New Japan and Ring of Honor, if you say yes to one, you kind of say yes to the other. Impact's not there with those four. Impact Wrestling's world title is not a world title. Uh, Plot opinion number four. She absolutely said that race is shit. She absolutely said the N-word and spit in that girl's face. Yep. Plot opinion number five. Tessa Blanchard probably has been an insufferable cunt for fucking years. In different ways, shapes, or forms. Some people she's treated nicely. Maybe overall, generally, she's a nice person. But when it comes to wrestling stuff, I think she's the kind of catty bitch that talks about people all the time. And it never really mattered before. But now it's definitely come out. And it's come out in force. Tessa Blanchard certainly has been incredibly opinionated about what her fellow women wrestlers have done in a way that almost seemed to try to constantly undercut everybody around her. Plot opinion number six. If she hadn't put out her wah wah tweets about women need to should support other women, it'd be a cool thing to do. If she had never put that tweet out, the whole backlash wouldn't have been nearly as bad. So in a weird way, it's her own fucking fault for opening up that fucking can of worms. Which ties into plat opinion number seven. I think people in general, especially other women wrestlers, we're willing to fucking keep everything under wraps because all these things had been floating around for years, but the women wrestlers didn't really come out with this stuff about her. Um, they were willing to let her have her moment for the good of perhaps women's wrestling in general or even being able to, to fucking s sublimate their own egos for the sake of Tessa Blanchard getting her moment or being afraid of being labeled as somebody who is sour grapes. Because Tessa Blanchard was getting this great thing. But I think women wrestlers in particular were willing to sublimate their own fucking opinions about Tessa Blanchard to let her have this moment until that fucking tweet came out. Plot opinion number eight. Impact has no idea how to handle any of this shit. None of it. And the fact that they made this big announcement that Tessa Blanchard won all these awards, such, you know, match of the year and wrestler of the year and all this other stuff. Um, and haven't really head on addressed any of this shit. They have no idea how to fucking handle it. They just know that somebody is fucking stepping on their Dana Mall and they are completely lost. Uh, Plot opinion number nine. Uh, Tessa Blanchard really is the best woman wrestler. And really is the only woman who could pull this off in every way that it was pulled off. Um, from the ring work, from the way it was built up, 
from the way she carried herself to the way that she sells to the fact that she's attractive enough to make it work. She's the best. And uh, she showed that she was the best. Which is not to say Sammy Callahan didn't do his, his part and other people didn't do their part along the way, but fucking Tessa Blanchard fucking held her own water with the whole fucking wrestling part of it and the angle part of it and the promo part of it. Making sure I'm doing this right. Plat Pinion. Fuck. Number 10. Um, all this brouhaha about the racist stuff and Blanchard's sort of hypocrisy about wanting support from women while never showing it. Um, it has ruined her reign before it has started. And p feeding into that plat pinion, Impact has no follow-up plan. They had no definitive follow-up plan for her reign. That was 10. <clears throat> 11. The WWE is going to do something like this someday, but not with any woman they currently have on the roster. Uh, number 12. Plat Pinion. AWE's, or AEW, excuse me, AEW's women divi division has been exposed even more by Impact doing this with Tessa Blanchard. It's been exposed even more than it already has been. Uh, AEW had designs, theoretically, to do this somewhere down the line, and now they can't do it. Sorry. That's 12. 13, Plat Pinion. The angle with the build to Tessa Blanchard winning the Impact World title from Sammy Callahan, whether you liked it or not, was incredibly well done. Incredibly well done. Plat Pinion number 14. This is the best built angle to a match that Impact has done since Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle. Table, side. Fight me. Plat Pinion 15. Tessa, at some point recently, has thrown a fucking fit correctly assessing that this whole thing about her being fucking racist and being a fucking hypocrite has marred this moment permanently. Plat Pinion 17. The hate versus Tessa from women wrestlers and angry male wrestling fans is equal parts jealousy, insecurity, Fear of change and a sense of disgust. Plat Pinion 18. Before the controversy, Impact may have eventually gone the route that PCW did when I booked it, which was there was no women's division. And, and in Impact, I can imagine a world where there wasn't going to be a women's division, that it was going to be everyone versus everyone in some way, sh shape, or form eventually, which would co clearly define them as their own thing on the wrestling landscape. But now, no way does it fucking happen, ever. They will go far out of business and be gone before they ever do something like that. 19. Because of the timing of all of this and the fact that we're now in the beginning of the year in 2020, Tessa is not even going to win Woman Wrestler of the Year for 2020 when all is said and done. And now, plot pinion number 20. Those 
out there that violently hate, and we've read all of these shit online, right? Those that violently hate the idea of Tessa winning a male world title are not necessarily wrong in their opinions. However, they represent the section of wrestling fans almost all of us absolutely fucking hate. No matter what you think of their opinion, that group of fucking angry virgin motherfuckers are the wrestling fans that almost all of us can agree that we fucking hate. That is 20 plat pinions. Give me a score. Give me a grade. Tell me where you disagree below. If you dare.